What's going on? Good afternoon. It's been a few weeks. It's me, Greggy P. Yeah, you know me. Greg Piasso is the name. Eating snacks is the game. Back with you again with another mukbang snack review. Very excited about this one. Also very nervous about this one. I have to admit, the reason why it's been a few weeks since since the last of my video, since last you heard from me, it's been a few weeks since the brownie, M&M, um, whatever the heck the other one was, uh, candy, uh, birthday cake, birthday cake catastrophe, is because I've been really nervous about this next snack. Okay, so uh, last month I did this, uh, this, the shrimp roll, my first video from the Thailand box from Universal Yum. It's not a sponsor yet, but you know, always could be one. Um, and what I have for you today, thumbnail, is um, ta from Tasto, it's their, it's their chip brand, a Devil Chips. So these motherfuckers, these are Thai pepper potato chips. And according to the box, they were, the, the, the Universal Yum's box with, with, with the snack review, they are 15 times spicier than a jalapeno pepper. So you can understand that this is rife for videoing. It's also really terrifying. So I'm, I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location here in my home in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and there's gonna be people driving around. I'm, 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 I'm leaning into the fact that it looks insane that I'm here video part of my car, but who gives a shit? Um, so I, I, I was nervous about these, excited. I love spicy food. I'm a Nashvillian. I love hot chicken. That should be a one at some point um, that I'll do. Um, but I also know that like it's no joke. So, you know, I kept being like, oh, my head hurts. Oh, my stomach's a bit upset. I don't want to do it yet. Or, uh, so I'm doing it. Um, again, thumbnail, devil chips. These things have apparently have bits of the pepper inside them. They have potato chips. One thing it's weird. It's really puffed up. You know how I like this, like the extra air. This really has got a lot of air in there. Um, to help me cope, I have some also some Thai sweet corn candies. These are corn flavored candies. They're really creamy. That'll help. I got my Trumu chocolate milk and I have a bottle of water. Now the bottle of water is to help drink. Also though, hot chicken fish and I know this, your fingers are what's going to fuck you if it comes to spicy food, right? So this is the, 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 this is the thing. You got to make sure you clean your fingers. You can wipe your hands, go to the bathroom. Good night. So I got a kitchen rag and I got some water and I'm gonna cool them now. I'm gonna get it wet and I'm gonna wipe my fingers off before I do anything else. Drive my car, go home. Um, and then I'm gonna wash my hands thoroughly, right? Good COVID 20 seconds of a wash. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat this whole bag. No matter how spicy it is, this whole bag is gonna get eaten. And what I decided I'm gonna do while eating the bag, I gotta I got have something to talk about. So I went back and forth, would you rather questions? I don't know, I couldn't, nothing felt right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about a movie. Now the movie is one of the worst reviewed movies of all time. It's one of, uh, it has 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, it's a, I'm a big How This Get Made fan. It's one of the earlier great episodes and it's actually a personal favorite of me and my dear friend. He's also a YouTuber, Mr. Marcus, look him up. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Now this is an Eddie Murphy joint. It, came out in 2002, it cost $100 million to make, and it grossed $7 million. It is a truly terrible movie, though it has a special place in our heart. I know Mr. Marcus will say, no, fuck you, it's good. I, 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 I have fond memories of it, though I haven't seen it in a while. So here's what I'm gonna do. While I'm eating these chips, I'm gonna be, be recounting for you the entirety of the plot of Pluto Nash, as much as I can remember, as long as it takes to eat these chips. We might not finish the movie. Maybe I'll have a quick sum up of the, of the end of the movie as much as I can remember, by heart. Now, I haven't seen the movie in years. I haven't listened to the Have This Get Made episode in years. I had not read something before this. This is all off the dome. And as I'm suffering from these, it'll get more and more insane. There's someone walking down the street. I'm by a park. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very looking forward to this. All right, so we're gonna open these up. If I can get them open. Boom. Oh, ho, ho. immediately. Like big whiff. Let's see if we can take a take a, take one and take a look. So it's it's the it's basically a ruffle, and it's got the red peppers all over it. Red pepper flakes. There's a fair amount of chips in here. This is going to mess me up. Ooh, there's little specks of pepper in here. Let me see if I can grab one. 
once I get one. There's like bits of dried red, red pepper, proper chunks. So we're gonna go in. I have the milk, I have the corn. I'm gonna do that as I need to. Um, okay. So Pluto now starts on the moon. The movie takes place on the moon. <laughs> These are warm. Um, the year is 2083. 2083. We open in a dingy, crappy little nightclub on the moon. And Little America, I believe the team, the team first call. Someone's walking by right now. I hope they look at me. Okay. I will say, these are very spicy. Though, honestly, I was hoping for more. It's building, though. It's got a pepperiness, a saltiness, and it has a weight to it, the heat. The heat is sitting on my tongue, just waiting there, building. Okay. Um... We open in a tiny, dingy, crappy nightclub where um, Anthony Frankowski, a Scottish crooner, those Frankowski's a Polish name, is singing with a, with a, um, oh, what's it called? N not a harpsichord, a um, accordion. He's terrible. His friend Pluto Nash, Eddie Murphy, is there. Now, Pluto Nash just got out of prison. He was a real hopper, meaning that was a smuggler. Reels are like the canyons and on the moon, the craters, reels. You hop them when you run away from the cops. And just went out and did a stint in prison. Anthony Frankowski is fucking bombing. Pluto goes to the bathroom. And the bathroom is disgusting. Just really... <coughs> really disgusting. Comes back. Monsters! Ah! They're tied up Anthony Frankowski, played by... Oh, it's blanking me what his name is. He's like one of those actors. Um, he's tied up. They have a flannel in his mouth. And they're going to pour... <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna pour battery acid down his mouth and it's a it, it's like a hydro flask bottle that says battery acid on it I will say these are very good well here we go here's a pepper there's like bits of red actual red pepper in here uh -oh, dropped it so these are pretty spicy oh, it's the building um so He's like, whoa, 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 it's my friend. And the officers are like, yeah, we're gonna get him. He owes us money or something. Pluto Nash says, come on. You know, he's a buddy of mine. Can I make this right? And he's like, well, you Pluto Nash, you you know, uh, got my buddy, uh, M M M M M Hickey Two Sticks or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, you're his friend. We used to have that shit catered in, in the prison cells. Oh, and they're good friends. Pluto's like, I'm not gonna, I own this club, but I'm, my dream is to open up a nightclub. Oh, great. So, cut forward four years later. Four years later, it is it is 2087. Pluto Nash is now the provider of the premier nightclub on the moon. Pluto's, Club Pluto. And it is popping, it's banging. And the costumes are crazy, and there's like glowing drinks, it's very moony. People are dancing to like so fresh and so clean, and they're all like, they're like kind of voguing dancing, like karate chop dancing. It's like a weird disco remix of so fresh and so clean. There's some pepper. Um, <laughs> um, okay, um, he then gets an offer, some mobsters show up, um, I'm pretty sure Victor Varnado is one of them, mobsters show up to the club, and they're like, Pluto, Pluto, we represent, uh, Rex Crater, Rex Crater, how I get at the pun, Rex Crater is a big, uh, mobster on the far side, uh, basically like Las Vegas on the moon, um, so, here, we want to buy your club, and he's like, not for sale, come on, we want to buy your club, not for sale, um, at some point that same evening, Rosario Dawson shows up. Rosario Dawson's name is Tina. Tina is a singer coming up to the moon from Salt Lake City, rough town. That's a joke they keep saying. Salt Lake City is a rough town. And they, she wants a job. He knew her dad. Her dad was like, her dad was named Nikki Six. Also like some kind of criminal. Friends with Pluto. Pluto goes, well... We need a singer or we need a waitress. You can get a job. Around this time, Pluto also mixes himself a martini in his mouth. He pours the vodka, the vermouth, puts an olive, swirls it around, swallows it and says, perfect. That's a joke. Um, Pluto has a bodyguard friend named Bruno, who is a robot. It is played by Randy Quaid. Imagine Randy Quaid bald with a voice like this boss, who's a model 63, which apparently is like old shit. So like it's 2087. So he's like a 20... 24-year-old robot. 
and everyone's like down, like talking to him, eh, 63, what are you, ancient, blah, blah, blah. And he's a bad, he has some quips with the bad guys. So, Pluto's making himself a martini. He's talking to Rosario Dawson. The monsters call again, and they're like, we want to buy your club. It's an offer. I'm pretty sure one of the other monsters is the guy who played Cypher in The Matrix. And Sands is the Soul Patch, I think. Okay, the heat is really building. It's tasty though. This, these are really good. If you like spicy things, these devil ships are really good. It's got a heat and my nose is starting to get, get runny. I'm not gonna do the milk or things until the end. Um, Uh-oh, bingo, bango, boom. Pluto's club gets blowed up. Uh-oh, there's a shot of Pluto going, look what they did to my club. Look what they did, they blew me up. So, <clears throat> he goes he goes on the run with uh, Bruno. All of a sudden, there's guys, there's like, there's like, a, there's like a gunfight. People, people are chasing after him. They want to kill him because I guess they're mad that he won't buy the club to them. So I guess that then they're going to blow it up. Um, at some point in this, <coughs> as they're... <coughs> Oh, as they're running away from the bad guys, they meet up with, uh, oh, what's his face? I can't remember his name. He's some young Frankenstein, played Frankenstein's monster. He's a former cop, also known as Pluto. They're playing pool, and I remember that in that room where they're playing pool, there's like a box of pizza time, and pizza comes out of the box. That's cool. And there's, they're discussing like, uh-oh, Rex is a monster. He, no, no one's ever seen him. He wants your ship. We gotta go to the far side. You gotta find out what's going on. Why did he blow up your club? Um, even though we know he blew up his club. Um, they also run into Pluto's mom, who has guns, and she's really cool. There's some fighting action sequences. They gotta get to the far side. There, people are chasing after them, so they steal a car. The car has a robot butler, who I guess is like the driver of the car. Robot valet. Um, played by John Cleese. He's got floating head. Who's like, Mom, you can't steal my car, I'm John Cleese. Then they threaten John Cleese with a gun. He's a robot. And he's like, okay, don't, I'll, I'll be fine. And they steal John Cleese. They, <coughs> they go to Pluto's hideout in the middle of the, um, um, in the middle of the, uh, the, the moon, out in the wilderness of the moon. And, um, they, Pluto goes on like America Online Moon Edition, searches up who might have done this. So there was, there was something, like a briefcase, something that says MGM or MCM, found out that it's Mike Marucci, Alec Baldwin, who's like, got a, Alec Baldwin, but he's got like a mobster accent. Who's a mobster? The so mobsters are after Pluto for some reason. Who's trying to figure out what the plot is? It's funny, the more I try to describe that plot from, from, from my head, the more this makes absolutely no sense. Okay, so they're at, Pluto's hilarious hideout, smuggler hideout in the middle of the moon wilderness. Um, oh, he's got like a maid that goes, oops, and she sh bends over and you can see her like robot vagina. Oops, it's this French maid, which of course, uh, Bruno, Bruno the, the bodyguard loves. He's like, um, which apparently, cause robots in this world are like horny. Thankfully, not a lot of residue on my fingers from these chips. Yeah, it's, it, it builds, the heat builds. Um, um, okay, where was I? <laughs> We're in the moon. Oh, there's like a frozen chihuahua. That's a joke. Um, Rosario Dawson is there with Pluto. She's kind of tagging along. I can't remember why. Hey, Bruno, so it's Bruno, Dina, Rosario Dawson, and Pluto. All of a sudden, beep, 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 their, their moon base gets attacked. Bazooka, their rocket launcher. Oh no, they put on their spacesuits and fight them off and like escape. Now, we're stuck. They're walking out in space. We're gonna lose the oxygen before we freeze to death anyway. Uh, we're not gonna have any food. They basically both pass out. Randy Quaid, Bruno, the bro robot boss, carries Rosario Dawson and Pluto Nash is walking them, and he like runs out of battery, then he stays there. They're basically now dead. They are dead. For an undetermined amount of time, they're like waiting there in like unconscious on the moon. 
bing, bada bing, bada bing. There's like Winnebago, Space Winnebago, not with wings like in Spaceballs, but like, like, like a hovercraft car happens to come by, driven by Luis Guzman. And he's like got a Puerto Rican flag in his Winnebago. And he's like, bada ling, bada, like dancing to music, like, you know, like, he's got like reggaeton music going. And he's like, ah, he stops. And he sees Pluto, Bruno, and Dino. Oh shit. Puts on a spacesuit, comes out, revives them, brings them back, leaves the robot. Brings them back to life. They come up, and Pluto's like, oh my god, you saved me, I'm Pluto Nash. And Luis Guzman, whose name is Felix Laranga. Felix Felix. So Felix is like, oh, Pluto Nash! Oh man, you're the Tito Puente of real hoppers, oh my god! And he's geeking out, holy shit. And Pluto's like, here, take these Hillary's, which is a great joke, that like $1,000 bills in the future are Hillary Clinton on them. <laughs> uh, 2002, baby, if only. If only. Um, man, this is really painful. And there's like a bunch of peppers down the end, and I will eat them all. Um, okay, we gotta get to the far side. I think Pluto goes, we gotta get, bring my robot too. Um, and Luis Guzman says, I don't know about robots, man. I once tried to get it on with this hot robot, Mamita, which is weird. Um, and she went all Terminator on me, which is great because that reference is a hundred years old at the time. Um, and he's like, no, don't worry, Bruno's cool, Bruno's cool. So he goes, needs to jumpstart him, and the robot's jump starter is like a little, like electro dick. And he like puts a like a jump starter clamp on his like robot electro dick and like jump starts him. And then they all go off to the moon. And then so Pluto, Felix has Pluto sign his helmet to Pluto Nash, my best friend been with me through thick and thin and Pluto's like we just met he's like come on man I saved your life and Pluto goes all right fine to, to Felix to Felix save my ass I gotta say Eddie Murphy is very charming throughout this whole movie he's fun this is like right at his prime Eddie Murphy it's 2002 so this is past Dr. Doolittle one Nutty Professor which I don't like um but he's like really killing it Eddie Murphy he's selling this so is Rosario Dawson like the cast is good Sorry, I'm talking very fast, I'm sure. But it's because these are really effing hot chips. So, they get to the far side. Moon Beach. It's called Moon Beach. It's basically like Las Vegas. But I mean, Anthony Frankowski is actually now Tony Francis. He's like a Frank Sinatra character. He's a crooner, he's got a show. So they go to the so they go to um the they go to the Moon Beach place and they try to find Rex Carter. They meet Anthony Frankowski, who has twin wives. Well, they're, they're, they're clones of each other, which is kind of weird. But he's like, yeah, they're clones. And they're both like these bimbos, these hot women. They're like, hello, Tony, in unison, which is weird. They have, they have some action on the elevator. They're like, they're jumping across to get to Rex Crater's private elevator. They go to the office. Bada bing, big reveal. It is Pluto Nash. Oh, oh, oh shit, there's two Eddie Murphys. Big reveal. Um, which of course lends itself to a lot of comedy. No, shoot him, no, I'm the real Pluto, no, I'm the real Pluto. I guess we were to believe he was cloned when he was in prison because people thought he could, the mob mobsters thought, uh, Alec Bowen, Mike Marucci, thought he could be a good puppet. This guy is a good worker, I don't, okay. Uh, but then Pluto figured out he was being used by Mike Marucci and he said, I shot him into space. So now, Clone Pluto, X, a.k.a. Rex Crater, is the bad guy. What's some business? Who's the real Pluto? Then the, the bad Pluto gets shot. I think by his own henchman? Yeah. Hero wins the day. So, the Pluto, Rex wanted to open up his own club called Club Rex. And there's some jokes about the fact that the model's made of wood, and you know how hard it is to get wood on the moon? That's a joke that, that's a runner throughout the movie. So Pluto Nash saves the day, defeats clone Pluto. It's interesting, he didn't have any remorse or any conflict that it's him, it's Rex, but it is still Pluto Nash, which the weird thing is, 
Anthony Frankowski, Anthony Frangici, Anthony Frangucci, Tony Francis. Tony Francis's clone wives like speak in unison. They're like fembots. They like hi Tony in unison, and yet the clone Plutos have very distinct personalities. This is like a nature versus nurture debate. We could get into that, right? So if you have two clones and they grow up simultaneously or kind of pair, do they have something, you know, going on? Or Ain't yes, so therefore, because Pluto Nash's clone, Rex Carter, <coughs> Rex Carter is separate, maybe that means that there's like, they now have their own individual personalities, even though they are like identical. Do they share memories? I don't know. There's another point when cloning is like a whole joke through the movie. Cloning was outlawed on the on the planet. Cloning exists on the moon. Um, earlier, when they're trying to run from the bad guys, Cluto and Dina and Rosario Dawson go to like go to these cl this cloner person, who's like, "How about this?" And like their ball, their bodies are really tall. And Amazon, how about Venice Beach? So they're like big and muscly. It's a whole like visual comedy bit. That was funny. And they referenced that um, that cloning was outlawed on. Earth because of an NBA team cloned all one player. And then Pluto goes, oh, the Air Jordans, yeah. Which is an amazing joke because are you cloning Michael Jordan and then bringing back him back? You're like, is he young, Michael Jordan? Because even in when the movie was made in 2002, Michael Jordan was, I think, retired, if not about to be on The Wizards or something like that. You wouldn't want to clone him, and especially in like 2050 or whatever the hell. I, 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 that doesn't add up, but it's like a joke. Very 2002. We're almost done. Look at that. I'm almost done with these chips. I definitely got the runny nose. It was burning on my lips, burning on my tongue. Surprising. I, I, I was hoping that it would really mess me up. That I would be hiccuping and sneezing like I do when I eat hot chicken. But it is a very real burn. Um, okay, Pluto saves the day. Cut back to the ending. Uh, cuts to later. Rosario Dawson is singing. They have the club back again. Everyone's dancing weirdly. Um, Bruno is, like, working there. And he, he can't get a good relationship with Babette, the oops nurse. Because she's in, like, an 84. And he's a 63. Or she, she's something later. And they can't have sex, which is insane. And then Pluto goes, why don't you just use an adapter? Like she, she, he's 180, she's 220, like volts. And, 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 and Pluto go, and Bruno, the ro robot goes, it doesn't feel the same, which is a great co condom joke. And then, and, and, and then he, he goes, I have a new, I have a new bodyguard. And Bruno goes, oh my goodness, well, I guess I'll shut myself off, but how are you gonna do that? I need you to be my, the manager of this nightclub. And Bruno's like, oh my goodness, I'm the manager? Well, we got inventory coming in, I'm swamped. And it ends with um, Pluto Nash smiling, watching Missouri Dawson sing some song. And I'm pretty sure the lines of the song are like, everything is all right, we're getting pumped up, we're getting crunked up. And he's got a cigar, he's really happy. Credits. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. It's a space movie, it, it's trying to be like a Star Warsian space adventure. It was, it was as 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. It made $7 million. It cost a hundred. Which is really wild because it looks terrible. I know, Mr. Marcus, you're gonna, you're gonna drag me for that. But for a hundred mil in 02, like Lord of the Rings came out the year before that. It looks amazing. Come on. I got one little bit left of these chips. I will say for my review, if you like hot, these are really good. They have a good flavor. They have that kind of peppery woodiness to them, if you know what I mean, that kind of, that some peppers have. That really like strong spice, that kind of earthy, earthy smell to them. Okay, devil chips. I really hope, if you're watching and you've never seen Pluto Nash, 
what I just described makes absolutely no sense because it's tough. And I hope I wasn't talking too, too fast. I was A, excited, and B, got the endorphins going. So now I got one of these sweet corn candies from Thailand. Now hopefully, cut the spice. Mmm, mmm, really good. Sweet corn, milky, doing the trick. I'm gonna wash my hands in a second. Okay, buy the devil chips. Universal Yums is great, those are really spicy. I'm probably gonna be feeling that in my stomach later and in the bathroom later. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hit me up with other random movies. Um, I Spy, I'm probably gonna do next time. The Eddie Murphy one, we're just gonna do random Eddie Murphy movies. I'm just gonna like, while I eat a snack, just try and recount from memory a movie that I've seen um, a long time ago from my childhood movies that I liked. I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do all that nonsense. Comment, please. Even if it's negative, like call me I'm an idiot, I don't care. Correct me on the comments about Pluto Nash. Get down there, get busy with the liking and the subscribing and the commenting. My name is Greg Piasso. We're over and out.